Hi, I'm Lauren from 360 Chestnut. We have a very exciting day here today. We're in a greater Boston suburb, and today it's day one for geothermal drilling. We're with Melanie Head from Energy Smart Alternatives, a Wakefield Mass. So Melanie, what is geothermal? Geothermal is a method of heating and cooling a building that uses the constant temperature of the earth as a heat source in the winter or a heat sink in the summer. So in this part of the world, uh, the ground temperature is about 50 to 55 degrees year round, making it an ideal heat source or heat sink uh, for the building. Outside is the uh, first day of drilling, like you said. Um, they're going to be putting in two borings. One boring is to 350 feet and the other is to 450 feet and that's really all that's required for this entire house. They'll probably finish the first boring today and finish up the second one tomorrow. Then later in the week they'll come back and put the pipe into the ground and seal everything in place. Inside the house, um, in the basement, we are placing the units, the geothermal heat pumps. It has very nice filter, very easy to change. These are two and a half inch cores through the concrete foundation and the geothermal pipe is going to come through here from outside and it's going to connect up to the geothermal heat pumps. We're going to be running some refrigerant lines from the heat pump in the basement to an air handler that's going to be located in the attic. There's basically two parts to a geothermal system. There's the the compressor or the heat pump and then there's the distribution system which is the air handler. Uh, those two components can be together in that in one large unit or they can be separate like we, we have here where the compressor's in the basement and the air handler's upstairs. As the price of oil increases, we start getting a lot more phone calls. So um, it makes the payback uh, a lot more attractive for oil retrofit. Um, the cost of this system was $67,000. It's, it's a good size house. I think it's around 6,000 square feet including the basement. So, um, but he's going to see a payback of about six to eight years with this system. That's great. And what kind of tax credits are out there to There's, subsidize? Yeah, so this homeowner is going to get a mass save heat loan, which is uh, a $25,000 loan at 0% financing. Um, and he's also going to get a 30% federal tax credit um, at tax time next year, and there's no cap on that. So oh, that's it's great. going to be over a $20,000 tax credit. People don't really think of heating systems as investments, but um, if you have the money to put into a system like this, you will see returns. And um, even sometimes with, with financing, the operating cost savings more than covers the cost of the loan. Yes, I've heard that actually with the heat loan, that paying back the heat loan without the interest, that you would be paying less than your current oil or gas bill. Right, that's right. That's fantastic, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.